Middle of January, about 38 degrees outside, really cold Ooh. South Texas coast. We just had a cold snap. Uh, a lot of guys don't fish in this kind of weather. Uh, really big fish in this kind of weather can be caught. Uh, I know a lot of people think, you know, it's it's cold, the fishing's gonna be terrible. That's not true. Uh, the fishing's gonna be different. It's not necessarily gonna be bad. A lot of people don't catch fish in the cold because they fish the same way all year long. In the summertime, you know, the fish, the water's hotter, the fish are moving faster, it's different. In the wintertime, it's cold. They're gonna be slow, but it doesn't mean they're not gonna be moving. It doesn't mean they're not gonna be feeding. So remember guys, cold winter weather like this, uh, wear plenty of layers if you're gonna go out there and wade. Um, and work that bait as slow as you can really you got to really slow it down versus uh, spring summertime fall fishing uh, one of the other things that guys are like why are you waiting why don't you just stay in the boat when you fish the fish are slower so you got to really work them slowly uh, a, a standard drift you're going to have trouble you're going to be too fast over the fish you're going to have to work your bait too quick it's just not going to work right uh, the other option that you have in this kind of weather is live bait uh, you can always uh, throw like a shrimp on a popping cork something like that will will be uh, a good quality bait to throw in this kind of environment yeah the other thing with lures you're going to want to try and stick with something like a like a suspending bait like a corky that's going to drop down in the water column really 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 slowly and as you twitch it might pop back up give them as much time presentation wise in order to catch the fish if here is the, your uh, classic baffin snowman we have about four jackets on, beanie, yeah, waders. Good morning from Bay. Yeah, that's so as far as lures go, suspending baits, um, slow moving, uh, soft plastics work really well. Uh, you're not gonna wanna throw anything like a, a fast top water or a spoon or a chugger or something like that, a broke back. Uh, a, if it's a suspending broke back, it would be good. But uh, this kind of weather, the go-to bait is, is gonna be a suspending bait, something that's gonna slow, fall real slowly as far as an artificial goes fairly good size uh, profile you don't need something giant uh, live bait definitely shrimp on a popping cork is going to be your best option in this kind of weather again all right so water right now is about i don't know i think we looked at it it was 49 and Caught this trout on a soft plastic and cold enough where my brain wasn't working so I left my stringer on the boat so I got to walk over to my brother who can stringer this fish up that's a good looking trout right there okay guys we're, we're working soft plastics here we're working real slow because the water temperature is high 40s, low 50s right now. The air temperature is about 38. And these fish are biting off the bottom. They're not hitting real hard. They're hitting slow. So we're working the bait slow because it's cold. And uh, this is a good looking little trout. We're looking for a little bigger than that. We'll find them in a second here. Let me get this hook out of the way. But um, if you're going to do this kind of fishing guys make sure you got the right gear on plenty of layers really good waders gloves uh, make sure you're fishing with the buddy in case you do get cold something happens and that you need to uh, you know have someone help you out you get some wa water in your waders you start getting some hypothermia because this kind of water this kind of air temperature i'm talking you got hypothermia in minutes if you get if you get soaked down to the bone and well, a lot of times your hands stop working stuff like that can happen so be careful if you're gonna wade in the middle of the winter like this but you know what there's some some real good some real good fishing uh, we've only been out for about 10 minutes and the stringer already's got some fish on it so uh, we're gonna get this fish on the stringer see if we can catch some more All right, guys, again, cold water gear, some of the tackle that we're gonna use. Uh, first of all, I got a 4,000 Stratic uh, from Shimano. I got a seven foot two rod. It's a medium power, extra fast action. And it's called a Kumara. It's actually a bass fishing rod, but it works pretty good for uh, fishing trout and redfish in the bay. Uh, 
really, really important as the gear that you're using. You can see from the water line on my jacket that we were we were about to right here uh, in the water. Uh, I'm six foot three, and that's maybe four inches below my nipple line, about mid mid to high stomach. So uh, to be able to do this kind of fishing in water that would give you pretty much uh, instant hypothermia, you got to have a really good set of waders. This is a pair of G4Zs from Zim Sims. I have a, a waterproof jacket, Gore-Tex jacket from Sims as well. Uh, but really the waders is what keeps me dry. Got several layers of clothing underneath this. Um, you got to stay dry. So the rod and reel is always important, but this kind of weather, the gear is extremely important. These are, um, again, some gloves that have some finger cutouts and stuff like that. So I can I can cover the fingers up if it starts they start getting cold, but I can still do stuff like tie knot, knots and stuff like that. Uh, we caught some fish already. We, were, we did about a 30 minute wade. We're gonna try another spot in a minute here. I was fishing a, a quarter ounce jig head, a red with some glitter, uh, curly tail grub, soft plastic. It's just plastic. Uh, there's no uh, bait or anything like that. Uh, Mark, who's holding the camera right now, was fishing a corky devil. It's a um, squishy, soft plastic, a little bit bigger bait. And he caught a couple of nice fish as well. So two different sizes. Again, one of the keys to this is, is keeping the bait in the strike zone as long as possible. You don't want to be zooming it across the top of the water. You don't want to be cutting through the water like a spoon, uh, like you would work a spoon. You want something that's you can be able to twitch it and let it either sink real slow or come to the bottom and bump it, something like that. Uh, really slow retrieve. One of, like, a, like the Corky, for example, one of the reasons the Corky works really well in this kind of environment is it's a suspending bait, which means it's neutrally buoyant. It sinks in the water very, very, very slowly, if at all, just barely, barely sinking. So as you twitch it, it's able to keep it, if this is the water column, it's able to keep it in the middle of the water column. As you twitch it, you can keep it in the strike zone, visible to the fish for as long as possible and still be able to work the bait slowly. If you had something that sinks real hard and heavy, as you, you would have to run it pretty fast to get it up off the bottom. I'm running a little different technique. I'm taking this guy and I'm hopping him, hop him up, let him sink back down, hop him up, let him sink back down. A lot of times in this weather, the fish stay a little lower in the water column, so they'll be willing to pick it up off the bottom on the drop is what we call it. They normally hit these on the drop. They're not gonna hit them as they're zooming through the water. They're gonna All right, it's recording already. Turn it around. What a dumbass. <laughs> Put that in there. It is. be a trout. All I gotta say is please be a trout. It's still cold as hell. And we're in a undisclosed location somewhere in South Texas. Got a little over two limits between four guys. We haven't had lunch yet. Woo! She got spots. She got spots, Noe. There are spots on there. Last I checked, black drum don't have spots. <laughs> Look at that big girl. Woo! Look at that big girl. Good one? Yeah. Open up. She didn't like those bogus. I don't look dirty. I don't know, Bubba. That ain't dirty. What do you think, Noe? Think. No. This is a solid 28. Yeah, she's six and a half, maybe seven. Let me show her off to the camera here. This is what cold water fishing pays off right here. Look at that donkey.
a good looking trout. We're gonna go try and keep her alive, measure her real quick at the boat. Six and a half. Fat though. Fat, 26 and a half. She's uh, six and a half pounds. That's why we come out here, guys. That, those right there. Still good, girl? Yeah, she was real wide. Right there, uh, we were using a quarter ounce jig head, and that pattern I think is called chicken on a chain. It's a uh, uh, saltwater assassin die dapper chicken on a chain is the color. It's a five inch soft plastic paddle tail. What you got there, Noe? Oh, just a little something. Nice. That's a good looking trout. Let's get her on the stick. We ain't gonna kill it. Nah. We'll put it on me. Yeah. Yeah. 28. Almost 28. 27. All right. Nice seven pound trout. That was a six and a half and a seven today. She looks like she's still healthy. Came out of the water to get her picture taken. See if she takes off. Okay, let her get righted. Off she goes. Good job.